As we work our way up the body, we'll now concentrate on the muscles of the upper chest, which are used primarily with throwing and fielding. I like to work with dumbbells because with dumbbells, if you have a stronger right arm or, or left arm, you can develop them more equally than working with a bar. A bar is still sufficient for working out or doing any of these exercises. All right, we're going to start with an incline press. The bench is at a 45 degree incline. You're going to press the dumbbell straight up in the air. Whenever you do work with free weights, you should have a spotter available. You want to bring your arms a little bit past parallel to the floor. Fully extend with soft elbows. Exhaling as you push the weight away from your body. Eyes focus. Stomach tight. This way, if her left arm is weaker than her right arm, her left arm will have more of a chance to catch up in strength levels than working with a bar. This is called the incline press. As we use most of the muscles of the upper part of the pectoralis group for throwing and fielding. And now we'll switch to incline chest flies. With this one, I want to make sure you work with a light enough weight that you can lower the weight slowly. You have a soft elbow bend. Arms are a little bit past parallel. Always do this exercise with a spotter. The spotter can help protect the elbows. Push and squeeze. Bring the dumbbells together, blowing out as you raise the dumbbells toward your face. Slowly and light. Okay, let's do one more, two more. Now, if dumbbells or free weights are not available to you, what you can do is just plop right down on the floor and do some push ups. Push ups are a great exercise. They can be done at home, on the gym, in the field, anywhere you'd like to do them. All right, Dan. Again, we don't want to stick our behind up in the air. Our back is nice and straight. We're pushing with our chest and our arms. You can go a wide grip. You can go a narrow grip. You can put your hands out or in. It doesn't matter. Good. Let's go change the angle and let's look at the camera so they can see the angle of the elbows. And again, remember, we don't stick our behind up in the air. We have a nice straight back. All the effort is done with the upper chest and arms. And again, you would blow out as you push away from the floor. Don't hold your breath. Push and blow. There you go. Very good. And what you don't want to do, bring your behind up in the air. What you don't want to do, bring your feet in, is stick your, your booty up like this because you're not doing anything but working your hips. One more time. Nice straight back, arms and chest. 